Hello everyone and welcome back to Coach Craig Sports. Today is Sunday, March 21st. We're going to be talking some NBA DFS draft picks on both FanDuel and DraftKings for today. But before we get started, we're going to take a look back at yesterday's picks, see how they turned out, and kind of why they turned out the way that they did. So on the DraftKings side, we had Jordan Poole, $5,100, looking for about 26 points out of him. Got to 42, so he was definitely a hit. Andrew Wiggins, $6,300, looking for 31, 32 points out of him. Got to 37.75, so he was a hit. Harrison Barnes, $6,500, looking for about 32, 33 points out of him. He got to 30.25, so he was a miss. Not too bad overall. Hopefully he is a guy that didn't kill you too bad, though. You know, just kind of be in that just miss range. Marcus Morris, $4,800. You know, I thought maybe they'd go small ball on this day. It didn't quite happen in quite as much. You're looking for 24 out of him. He got to 21. So he's a miss. Kevon Looney did not end up playing, so he's a miss overall. So kind of a hit or miss day on the DraftKings side. Then on the FanDuel side, we had Ben Simmons. Did not play due to injury. Kind of a surprise one there. Hopefully you guys were able to, you know, pivot to like Shake Milton. I did mention that down in the comments, but he was a miss regardless. Forkman Korkmaz, I thought he might end up starting. If he was starting, I liked him for about 20 points, but... You know, thirty five hundred dollars. You're looking for about eighteen. He got nine, so he was a miss there. Then Chris Middleton, seven thousand dollars. We're looking for about thirty five out of him. He got to thirty three point five, so he was a miss, but probably not somebody that killed you overall. Then Marcus Morris, thirty seven hundred dollars. Looking for about nineteen points out of him. He got nineteen point three, so he was a hit. And then last but not least, Dwight Howard, twenty five hundred dollars. Looking for twenty five out of him. He got twenty four point one, so he was a miss. But you know, kind of that just missed territory where he probably didn't kill you overall. So yesterday was pretty hit or miss on both sites. Um, sometimes with those smaller slates, it is a little bit more difficult to do that. That's why I always recommend, you know, playing a little bit lighter on some of them smaller slates, unless we have, you know, certified good value overall. But with that being said, we'll get into today's injuries. I'll do the early games real, real quick, but my focus is mainly going to be on that later slate. So the Pacers, TJ Warren still out. Sampson is a game time decision. We're not worried about Jalen LeFew. The Heat still have Avery Bradley and Udonis Haslam, who hasn't played all year anyways, out. Iguodala, game-time decision. He probably doesn't play. Goran Dragic is also a game-time decision now. We'll see if he plays. If he doesn't play, then, you know, Kendrick Nunn, Tyler Hero both get a bump up. Then for the Oklahoma City Thunder, Baisley's still out. Shea Gilgis Alexander's out. Josh Hall's out. Uh, George Hill and Al Horford. So if you're looking for some value in the early slate, Oklahoma City might be your best bet. You know, you get a tail mile down and Ty Jerome. Uh, guys at guard there, you get Isaiah Roby, Moses Brown. Definitely some value out there for on that side. Then for the Rockets, Dante Exum, Eric Gordon, David Nawaba, and Kevin Porter Jr. are all out. Got the same kind of starting lineup from them as the last time out. And, you know, kind of with that starting lineup back, there's not a whole lot of value on this team overall. Then for the Pelicans, J.J. Reddick's still out. Lonzo Ball is a game-time decision. Just, just If you were playing that early slate, just see if he plays or not. If he doesn't play, whoever starts in his place could definitely be a value. Then for the Denver Nuggets, Gary Harris, Monty Morris are still out. So exact same as the last time out. Then last but not least on the early slate, we have the Magic. Michael Carter-Williams, game-time decision. James Ennis, game-time decision. No, th both those guys missed last time out. So I wouldn't be surprised if they both uh, miss once again. Celtics are exactly the same as the last time they played. Then for the main slate, though, our primary focus today, we have the Toronto Raptors all the way healthy. Cleveland Cavaliers pretty much the same as last time out. We'll see if JaVel McGee plays or not today. If he doesn't play, it definitely bumps up Jared Allen. And I guess if Dean Wade's getting that backup center run, he could be in play as well, especially on that DraftKings side. Then the Bulls are exactly the same as last time out. Pistons look about exactly the same as last time out, too. You know, Diallo, Ellington, Hayes, Magruder, and Jaleel Okafor all out. Wizards now have Davis Bertans out as well as Ish Smith out. So somebody's going to pick up Davis Bertans minutes, whether it's Danny Advia, Troy Brown Jr., or someone else, who knows. So if you want to take the shot on somebody getting extra minutes, you can definitely go ahead and do that today. Uh, for the Brooklyn Nets, Jeff Green's game-time decision, Blake Griffin's a game-time decision, and Kevin Durant is out once again. And then we move over to the 76ers. You know, obviously we had the surprise of Ben Simmons not playing yesterday. I think he ends up playing today. You know, maybe they gave him that extra day of rest on the back-to-back. -back. Uh, they do have Cork Maz listed as a starter here. I think Thigh ball starts once again. Uh, but obviously Seth Curry and Joel Embiid are both out. 
Then for the Knicks, obviously you got to pay attention to this one. Derrick Rose, Austin Rivers still out. Mitchell Robinson is a game time decision now. I don't think it's been six weeks since he had uh, surgery on his hand, but we'll see. I don't expect him to play. Quickly, Peyton, just keep an eye out on that situation once again as we've been looking at quite a bit lately. Then probably the biggest news from that came out of yesterday was LeBron James sprained his ankle. He's got a high ankle sprain, so he's not going to be playing now. Probably means the Lakers are going to start sucking, but, you know, it should open up some good value. Uh, DraftKings is priced up a little bit better for this value for today. Uh, FanDuel, there's still a little bit of value there as well. Uh, Marcus Gasol should return to the lineup. We'll just see if he comes back or not. Uh, otherwise, pretty much the same as we've been looking at besides, obviously, the LeBron James news. Then the Phoenix Suns, they just got Craig out once again. Mavericks still have Willie Coley Stein, Johnson and Terry all out. And then Portland Trailblazers, exactly the same as the last two times out as well. So overall, that's a quick little rundown on the injuries for today's slate. We'll get moved over to DraftKings, talk about my picks over there. So at point guard, I'm going to go with James Harden, $10,900. You know, you're looking for about 55 points out of him, averaging 57 on the season. Goes against that Washington Wizards defense that's not very good. It's probably going to be the highest scoring game of the day. So you want to have a little bit of exposure to this game in any way possible. Then at shooting guard, I went with Alex Caruso, $3,300, looking for about 16, 17 points out of him, averaging about 15 on the season. Probably sees a bump up in minutes today, you know, with no LeBron James, no Anthony Davis, and he's going to have some value going forward, honestly. He's probably a guy that gets you 19, 20 points, and at that price tag, definitely a value for today's slate. Then we move over to small forward, another Laker, Taylor Horton Tucker. I did talk about him, I believe, two days ago, so not a new name to the channel by any means, but... $4,200 $4,200 looking for 21 points out of him. Pretty good fantasy point per minute producer, typically. Uh, averaging almost 17 on the season. Should get a bump up in minutes today, you know, with no LeBron James. Uh, him and Kyle Kuzma probably benefit the most from this. So he's definitely a guy that I would consider on today's slate. Then at power forward, we were going with Ruri Hachimuri. And $5,800 looking for 29 points out of him. He's been playing big minutes lately. Been play, starting to play better. So definitely a guy to consider in this matchup. If this game goes small ball, he could play a lot of the five position too. Maybe get some extra rebounds there as well. Today you really want to have exposure to that Washington and Brooklyn game. So I think he's definitely a guy to help you get that exposure on today's slate. Then last but not least, center Mason Plumley. $5,800 looking for 29 out of him, averaging almost 30 and a half on the season. So definitely attainable for him. Goes against the Bulls that have been terrible against centers this year. So I think it's a very good matchup, one that he can take advantage of once again. But if you go with these five guys over on DraftKings, you have $20,000 even left over to spend. You'll have just over $6,600 per player. So definitely a little bit of room to spend up probably for... One solid player, maybe a red range guy, and then a value pick as well. But definitely room to mix and match your different options for today's slate. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to Fandle and talk about my picks over there as well. So at point guard, I got Kyrie Irvin. And you guys might be saying, wait, 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 Craig. You just said James Harden on DraftKings. Well, James Harden on the Fandle side is a shooting guard, and he's more expensive. I think both these guys have the potential to have a good game. It's probably going to be the highest scoring game on the slate. Definitely one that you want exposure to both guys in some form or fashion. Kyrie Irving on Fandle looks a little bit better. You know, $9,100 looking for about 46 out of him, averaging 45 on the season. Then you factor up that bump up in pace. You factor in the poor defense of the Wizards, and he should get at least 50 in this game pretty easily. Then at shooting guard, we're going to go with Taylor Horton Tucker as well over here. $4,000 looking for 20 points out of him, averaging about 17 on the season. Pretty much the same thing I said over on the DraftKings side. LeBron James is not going to be playing, so he's going to get more minutes. Then at small forward, we're going all the way down to the flat minimum, and it's Matisse Thibel, $3,500, looking for about 18 points out of him. He's a guy that is always better on Fandel because, you know, you get three points for blocks and steals, and that's what he does best, you know, defensive stopper type player. Anything he adds in terms of points is definitely going to help you out. But I think he's going to get the minutes, probably get the start once again today, you know, going against that Knicks team. It's probably not going to be the fastest paced game in the world. There's definitely some room for him to get some steals and blocks as well. Then I move over to power for it. I'm going with Kyle Kuzma here. A lot better price on Fandle than he is on DraftKings, 5,900. You're looking for about 30 out of him. I think it's definitely attainable with the without LeBron James in this game. Between Kyle Kuzma, Montrezl Harrell, and Dennis Schroeder, somebody's got to score on this team, so... 
it's going to be one of those three guys, and Kyle Kuzma is looking like the best option on the FanDuel side. Last but not least, I have Jared Allen, $6,300. You know, big price down spot for him. Played pretty well the last time out, so not too concerned there. Obviously, JaVale McGee might not play, so that only solidifies his minutes even more. And, you know, Toronto's not the best against centers. It's not a bad matchup, but it's not a good matchup either. So I don't have any problem playing him there. You know, you're looking for about 32 points out of him. That's about what he's averaging on the season. So definitely a guy that can get you that and then potential for higher upside as well. But if you go with these five guys over on the FanDuel side, you have $31,200 left over, $7,800 per player. So definitely some room to pay up for some guys, pay down for some guys as value comes out throughout the day. Uh, But with that being said, these are my picks for both DraftKings and FanDuel for today, March 21st. As always, if you guys have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to leave them down in the comments. Definitely here to help you guys out as much as I can. And then, as always, I'll be leaving all the news and starting lineups down in the comments as they become available. And with that being said, if you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely helps build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports. That's really one for you, the viewers. Helping you guys with your DFS, whether it's NBA or NFL helping you guys with your fantasy football news, covering all the different football news this offseason. And as we move forward into baseball season, going to be doing some fantasy baseball and some baseball news as well. And then if you are a newer current subscriber who's yet to do so, also hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. And like I've been saying, I post up daily NBA DFS videos like this. And I'm going to be doing some of that fantasy football and fantasy baseball content this week as well. Uh, But that's pretty much all I got for today's video. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed. Hopefully you guys all do very well in NBA DFS tonight. As always, if you guys have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Definitely here to help you guys out. And then last but not least, special little shout out to each and every one of you watching this video. Definitely appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Definitely means a lot to me. And I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.